Yay, we're recording. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday Leadership Zoom. Um, I Like, so crazy. This is the month, like, it's been almost three years since we started doing this Leadership Zoom. And every week, we've been able to interview a different 200K in the company. And like, it's insane how many 200Ks this company has, which is so exciting for everybody on this Zoom, because it means if we had that many 200Ks in this company, it means that it's possible. It's possible for everybody. And that is an exciting thing to think about, that each and every person on here can one day achieve that goal if that's their goal. If that's where you want to go, you can absolutely get there. It's just about sticking with it, consistency, not giving up on yourselves right now. We've got crazy bonuses that so many of you guys are running after. And one of my favorite things about Tuesdays is it's kind of a self-development Zoom. I love that we grab these different 200Ks throughout the company and they they share their stories and their journeys and not just the good stuff, but the the bad stuff too, because we're all in different seasons in our business. And I think why this Zoom has become so extremely popular is because we get to hear, oh my gosh, these people are where I want to be. And they've gone through the things I'm going through. If they did and they got through it, then I can too. And I am so excited because I'm interviewing somebody that I've not had the opportunity to interview before. I actually um, knew who Starla was, but I got to spend time with her just a couple weeks ago um, at a little mastermind that Maria Dillard did our upline. And she is so amazing, so sweet, so like just a genuine soul. And I am so excited and so knowledgeable. Like she has so many good tips and I am so excited to interview her today and get all of you knowing who she is if you don't already. Um, Starla's actually been in a while. So she's kind of a, she's like a pioneer. Sorry about that. My phone rang. I'm excited for you guys to hear her story, her journey, and her tips. Starla, are you on? You have to probably unmute yourself. Yes, I'm here. Oh my gosh. First of all, thank you so much for doing this. You have the most awesome background. Oh, like, oh, can you I see? love it. <laughs> I love my game. Mine does not look that good. Um, it looks all professional. Um, Starla, I have got to, so, I mean, obviously, like I said, when we started the zoom, we have so many 200 K's that I came from another company. And in that company, there were less than a hundred people at the top of the comp plan. So everybody knew everybody that was at the top of the comp plan, but in Lavelle, there are so many like, which is so cool. But yeah. because of that, People don't know everyone and their stories and their journeys. And it's one of the reason three years ago, I started this Zoom because I want people to know who everyone is and their stories and their journeys and have an opportunity for people to share. So I wanted to start like kind of in the beginning. Um, how much did you weigh when you were born? Um, what <laughs> hospital? No. We, don't, we don't have to go that far back, but I do want to start with what you were doing in life before you ever got on this network marketing train. And I also wanted to know, did you do any kind of network marketing before Lavelle? And if you did, like, how did that go? Were you successful at it? Um, and then how did you find Lavelle? And we'll kind of go from there. Okay. Lord have mercy. I feel like I could talk half the day just on everything you just asked. <laughs> so let me... Um kind of lump sum it into, um, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I always wanted to stay at home with my kids when they were little. So I was always into something, um, embroidery from home, t-shirts, I ran cheerleading camps. As my kids were teenagers, um, I opened up a cheerleading gym. I ended up marrying a mar Marine and moving across the country, closed that down. And from there, um, you know, in Marine World, I really couldn't find a job. So again, I started just doing t-shirts from home just to make any little extra 
money. But when we got out of the Marine Corps, we moved to San Antonio, Texas. Um, that was when I got into the corporate world. I had always done like a little bit. My, my dad always owned his own company and I worked a lot in the office for him, you know, through the years, part-time and stuff. So I had a lot of experience, but I had never really been in the corporate world. And all of a sudden I was thrown into that. Um, so I worked for about, gosh, I don't even know, six or seven years in the corporate world. And I did, my husband uh, was deployed. He went off to Afghanistan when we moved to San Antonio and I had some time on my hands. My kids were, uh, spring had gone to college. So I was literally home alone and I did jump into a direct sales company. I had always been approached about some direct sales things, maybe even signed up for a couple, but never even did anything with it when I was younger. So at this point, it was actually vault denim. We sold bling jeans and did in-home jean parties for goodness sakes. It was crazy, but it was fun. Um, and that is where I met Maria Dillard, Sheila Fasoni, Jen Ellis, like so many, Molly Haskins, so many of the girls that are now in Lavelle. We were with that company for a couple of years. And when you say, have you ever been successful in direct sales? I mean, we were doing pretty dang good with Vault Denim, but we were not successful like this kind of success that Lavelle provides. Um, I mean, I think maybe eight or nine hundred dollars a month is the most I ever made over there. And y'all, I'm talking lugging suitcases full of jeans in and out of people's homes. Jeans are heavy <laughs> and, and, you know, setting up for parties and you had to do events and you were on the go. It, it was not the freedom like this opportunity provides. Um, but that's how I met these people. I feel like God always has a plan. Like there's always a reason why you are where you are. The only reason that I was ever involved with that company is because I needed to meet these incredible people that were going to be a huge part of my future. Um, so we met there. Um, we The company kind of was sold to a different CEO and went completely under. And we were all scrambling like, oh my gosh, I really you know love the social aspect of this or that extra income we were bringing in. In the corporate world, I was miserable. I was bringing in a great paycheck, but I was not happy sitting behind a desk all day with someone else telling me what I had to wear, when I had to be there, when I could go to the bathroom, how long I could take for lunch, when I deserved vacation, how long I could vacation, and honestly telling me how much I was worth. Um, that was just not a fun situation for me. So I never saw direct sales as a way out, but I was praying for a way out. So when we were kind of, scrambling I went to Miriam for a little while with Maria and Jen and then I went to Mia Alicia Jewelry for a hot minute spring my is my daughter she's right here in this picture she's my actually my upline sponsor um we did jewelry with uh Sheila Fasoni for a little bit and then Sheila started messaging me about the Thrive Experience and y'all, I have looked back. She messaged me 16 times before I actually placed an order. Because at that point, I didn't want to be that girl that was jumping around to another. Oh, gosh, here's Starla posting about another something she's selling. And it had been like so quick because I hadn't found a home or where I was happy. So I was bouncing from thing to thing. And so I was not interested in the business opportunity at all. And I'm, y'all can't see me, but I am a tiny little petite person, always have been. I stay fit. I was already taking a health and wellness supplement. I didn't feel any different when I took it. It was super complicated. It was expensive. My cabinets were overflowing with this stuff. And so I just didn't, I didn't think I needed the product and I wasn't looking for a business. Um, but the day after Christmas, spring came over. She had a hip injury. She had been um, medically discharged from Marine, boot, Marine Corps boot camp. She had gained 20 pounds. She was working as a bartender, had to go back to school. And she said, I need to feel better. And I was like, oh my gosh, like a light bulb went off. You need what Sheila keeps messaging me about. You need to thrive. And I was paying half her bills. So I needed her to make money when we went and looked at everything. And by the way, if you haven't gone just to your Lavelle website, like go to the link that you send people and look at it, like peruse through it, click on the things, watch the videos. My daughter will tell you that video changed her life. And honestly, her watching that video changed my life 
because we ordered her a promoter pack that day because it was free. And all of my experience with all of these different direct sales companies, have you ever seen a company that is free to join? Like there's always a startup fee just to get started with their product. You usually receive a box with all these brochures and pamphlets and catalogs and junk that you really don't even use. So I found that to be intriguing that it was free. So I told her, you're going to sign up as a promoter. If you happen to like this stuff and you make 50 bucks a month, that's 50 bucks a month that's helping pay your bills. So we had no idea how much we were going to love the product. Um, when we ordered for her, she immediately turned to me and said, well, mom, do it with me. Like, I don't want to try it by myself. And I was curious. I was intrigued. I knew Maria and Sheila were both doing this. And honestly, I didn't want to be left behind. Like, I didn't want to be the only one. Like, what if it worked? What if it was great? What if they did something with this? So I ordered as a promoter as well. And I told Sheila, don't get excited because I'll probably never order again, but I'll give it the full 30 days. Now we're almost seven and a half years into this. I've never gone a day without my Thrive experience. I feel 20 years younger and it didn't take us long to start screaming it from the rooftops. You know, I think about like, there's people on here that like they've been in other direct sales companies and they have that feeling too. They're like, oh my gosh, what is my network going to think that I'm posting about something else? But honestly, when you have a product like this, that like eight out of 10 people feel something the first couple of days they take it, it doesn't matter what you've done before, as long as you can get this in people's hands and they see and feel those results, they're not going to care. Like, that's the thing is you kind of have to like get rid of that mindset and not go into it like that or else you're going to freak yourself out. But well, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think also being with those other companies really made you realize probably, I know it did for me being with another company, just how crazy good Lavelle is like we have everything that no other company has like you mentioned one of those things getting to sign for free that's like there's no other company that does that well and the thing is I've always been a people pleaser and I care very much what people think and say about me and then I started Thrive and all of a sudden I felt so good and believed so wholeheartedly in this company and this product very quickly. It didn't matter what people thought anymore. I had a message to get out and I still to this day, of course, my confidence grew and grew and grew over time. But even in the beginning, it changed me to where I'm still a people pleaser. I like to make people happy, but I don't let other people's opinions keep me from doing what I know needs to be done anymore. Like I used to do. Amen. Amen. And you can't like, that's why I always say most people quit network marketing in the first couple months based off of what someone else is saying, you know, like a friend or a family member that tells them they're crazy or you're in one of those pyramid things, or you're never going to make money doing that. Like we let those people get in our heads. I was that like that. My mom and my sister were the first two people I went to and they were like, Oh, that's stupid. Like, you're never going to make money at those things. They're scams, Lisa. And I almost quit. Like, I literally almost quit. And thank God that I held on. <laughs> I think about that all the time. I'm like, thank God I didn't listen to them. Um, <laughs> and, now they're both, and now they both joined me. So it's all good. Um, yeah. I would love everybody to hear kind of your journey to 200K. Like, did you, I'm like you love the products you kind of had some network marketing experience so I'm going to assume you probably got your VIP bonuses um or you know maybe you didn't I don't know I I almost didn't get mine I was already 40k the first week and did not have my VIP bonuses yet because I didn't have any customers <laughs> somebody had to remind me girl you got one day left you don't have your VIP bonuses so hey it's possible but I would love to hear for everybody to kind of get grasp what that looked like on the way to 200k and how long that took and you know just like the time frame in between each rank okay I actually wrote it down because you told me you would be asking me this and I haven't talked about it in a really long time you guys when you get to almost seven and a half years we ordered the day after Christmas so whatever that is seven years and however many months um I haven't gone back this far but my story is really crazy and hopefully will inspire a lot of you to just keep moving forward. Um, first of all, if you guys don't know this about me, I am a goal getter. 
So if you know people in your life not thriving with you yet that have that type of personality, write them on your list and start reaching out. And it doesn't matter if you have to follow up with them 16 times before they order. Goal getters are what you want. And if you are not a goal getter, I want you, as soon as we get off the Zoom, log into your cloud office and you look at those trackers. That is the number one thing that I loved. Well, minus the fact that it was free to get started that I loved about Lavelle is they put the goals before you and they baby step it. Every single thing is it within reach, right? You jump in, your first goal is to go get two customers, unless you're Lisa, uh, get two customers on auto ship so you're thriving for free. And then you're halfway to VIP bonus. Well, then your next goal is to get your two promoters and you've got your first bonus VIP 800. Then there's VIP 1600. And if you're doing those things, then you're halfway to 4K. 4K, you help people do that, you're on to 12K, like they, they simplify it and put those goals before you and all your trackers are right there in your cloud office. So I tell every new promoter, like your goal is to close those rings. Don't look at all the rings at one time, you pick a ring and you go close it. And if you find, if you get a goal getter that, okay, this is my goal. And then you just, you're unstoppable until you get there. Um, like I'm going to use ultimate thriver, for instance, my team always has a big group, ultimate thriver competitors, any customer, any promoter, we have a group, we have some trainers and coaches and they're all thrivers on my team that kind of like keep these people motivated during the whole 12 weeks. Well, I mean, y'all, I weigh a hundred pounds and I always join the ultimate thriver challenge because how could I ever ask my team of customers and promoters to join it if I'm not doing it myself? And I flat give it my all. And this time I actually had a pretty good transformation, but at the end of it, even I knew I wasn't going to win. I wasn't going to be picked as a finalist, but I had to see all those little check marks on my ultimate thriver thing. I had to have that final auto ship go through. I had to send my final picture because it's not finished until you complete the task. So same with all of this, you are unstoppable until it's done. With that being said, when I ordered my Thrive Experience, again, I was being supportive of spring. I wanted my daughter to feel better. I was being supportive of Sheila, who I knew was doing really great with this. I expected nothing. So I pretty much lost a full week because I waited for my product to come in. Thank goodness I was a day one thriver. So January 2nd, I was thriving. And then by the fourth or the fifth of that week or that month, I was like, okay, I will definitely order this again. I need to get it for free. Like I know two tired mamas. That's all I wanted, two people so that I could get mine free the next month. Well, here's what happens. If you haven't already started reaching out to people and y'all, I was 44. So I was friends on Facebook with all, all these people I used to go to high school with that were also 44. I knew their bodies were going through exactly what mine was. Either they were pre-menopausal or their clothes just weren't fitting the same anymore, even if they didn't really have weight to lose, you know, things just fit in different areas when you're 40 and 50. And um, aches in their body. I had a super bad knee. I had headaches all the time. I was a dancer. Um, so I started reaching out to all my dancer friends from college that might have had a bad knee too. Like I just started reaching out. And when you start reaching out to people like that, you realize how many people are struggling to get through their days. So getting mine for free was not hard, but I was not gonna stop messaging people until I did it. So I did it very quickly. And then Sheila, of course, messaged and was like, oh my gosh, you just need two promoters and your VIP 800, you've got $600 in the bank. And I was like a hot diggity. I've been reaching out to way more than just two people and I finally got my two. So I'm gonna keep following up with all those people. I can get two more and I did. So by, the, by my 14th day, I got my two promoters, two customers. I was at VIP 800. I was not even trying to build this business, but I did that. And um, I missed VIP 1600 completely because, I'm, I mean, gosh, if I knew then what I know now, I would have jumped all in and started screaming it from the rooftops from day one. But I didn't. I had to, I had to build that confidence in myself again being the girl switching to something new and I had to get the um, product in my body and get more and more confident and then start getting that positive feedback from some people before I was just all in but VIP 800 I mean that $600 check that came in that week 
that was what I made. I, I worked in the corporate offices at a bank, by the way. The, I was an executive assistant to the chairman of a bank. It was not fun, but that's what I made for a week. And I did this, helping people feel as, as great as I did. And it was what I made in a week being miserable at the bank. So that was very eye-opening to me. But then guess what? When that ring closed, my 4K ring was there and I had to go on to 4K. So I did go hit 4K in my first 30 days because back then we had an iPad mini to win or earn and I didn't want to miss it. That was my next goal. So I hit 4K in 30 days. And then by then spring was your, Lisa, you'll have to have spring on one day to tell her story because it's pretty awesome. But hers rolls in with mine. Uh, we both hit 4K on the same day. She missed VIP bonuses because she was just still trying to feel better. Um, and then our second month, because when you hit 4K, right, you've got four promoters on your team. We help them do the same. We hit 12K in our second month, which happened to be a February. Don't ever let February be in a short month fool you because I've hit some pretty incredible ranks in a February. Uh, 12K we hit February. We earned that first Cabo trip, all inclusive for two. That is when my husband said, wait a second, you just earned an auto bonus and we're going where for free. And that is the moment that I saw this as a vehicle to get out of the corporate world. Like this was real. My paychecks every Tuesday were real and they were growing every single week. They were growing and people were freaking excited about thriving. And that has not changed in seven years. If anything, people are more excited because we have validation now that we did not have then. You can, you can go on anybody's Facebook or on the Lavelle fan page or a million different places and find incredible Thrive Experience stories that I didn't have that validation before because it was you know just getting started. So we were going hog wild crazy at that point work in every aspect I could, every nook and cranny a time of my day, lunch breaks, drive home from work, weekends, evenings. I was sending messages. I was on three-way calls. Um, I ended up having someone, Scott McClatchy, he's an athletic trainer here in Texas. He jumped on board and he went 12K in 21 days which guess what that did to me? That strong legged me. So I had a red leg. So getting from 12K to 40K was a hurdle because Scott McClatchy and his team were blowing up. And I had some little teams over here doing a little something here and there too, but he was exploding. So, um, I mean, we were all on board. I was so excited and fired up and he fired me up and his team fired me up. And if he could do it in 21 days, everybody could do it in 21 days. And he did have quite a few team members come, come in and hit 12 K in 19 and 20 days. Cause then it's a competition who can do it faster. Um, but in the meantime, I'm struggling to build over here. I actually did a vendor event, just popped up a table at a Saturday vendor booth in San Antonio and happened to meet a tired mama named Laura Seaprish, military wife, struggling to pay her bills, mama of three. She was walking dogs just to be able to afford to pay for kids' haircuts or to put gas in her car. Her car was broken down a lot of the time. She was riding her bicycle to pick her kids up from school. Y'all, these are the types of people you're praying for them. And if you're not, you should be. And they're praying for a way out. They're praying for like I was in my corporate job. I was praying for something. So do all the things to find those people that are praying for what you have. So that day I met Laura Seaprish. We worked on her for a little while. She became a promoter and she balanced my red leg. Um, it, it, it didn't take long. Well, six months in, I hit 40K and 80K all in the same month because Scott McClatchy had me so red legged that by the time we balanced out with Laura's leg, um, we hit 40, 80, we finished that month at 134,000, I think. So that was six months in, and then it took us another six months. At 14 months, I hit 200K. Um, so- No, that's, you know that's what I like awesome. people to hear? I like people to hear the journey because it gives them an idea of, you know, what that looked like, because honestly, 14 months to 200 K is still super quick. Like, yeah. you know, I always tell most people, 
if you're kind of new to network marketing, you've never seen success before, you really don't have a network yet, you've got to be on that five-year plan. You know what I mean? This is not today I'm going to go 200K or this year or next year. It could, it, it, it takes a minute. And you actually had, and that's why I like people to share their whole journey because they can see that you had some networking, networking behind your belt. You also knew some people. So you came in with experience already. And a lot of people don't know the backstory. They just kind of think, oh, this person knows something I don't, or they must be better at it, or maybe I'm just no good at this. No, you had been planting seeds before Lavelle. And it just so happens Lavelle was the right vehicle. You know what I mean? To make those seeds actually sprout. And there's so many people on right now that they're just starting their journey. They're just starting to learn what networking is. And, you know, they're starting to get their friends and family to trust them, which we all know friends and family tend to be the last people that join us sometimes just because they're, they're the hardest, right? We could get a total stranger at a grocery store to join us sometimes before our aunt, you know, and it's, it's weird that it's like that, but they need to see that we're serious and that this is something that can work. And, that takes time. Sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. Now that you've been a two, I mean, seven and a half years, you were here when there was only what, a couple of products. I mean, we didn't have all of this crazy stuff. We had one kind of DFT and we only had vanilla shakes. (laughs) It's crazy. Like you were here in the beginning and now we have all these different things to choose from. And I mean, the company has grown so crazy and you're so right. There's third-party credibility everywhere you look. When you started, you had to tell people about this crazy patch and they were like, what the heck are you talking about? At least now we have an amazing fan page full of hundreds of thousands of stories that we can refer people to and they can go, okay, wow, this like there's some credibility behind this. So that's huge. I think there's a lot of people on here that think once you get to 200K, it's just smooth sailing. And I will just bet that a lot of life has happened in the last seven and a half years, and it hasn't probably all been sunshine and rainbows. I mean, at the end of the day, as a 200K, we struggle and go through struggles just like everyone else. I mean, I lost a 200K leg, like a couple 200Ks that are now, well, one of them tried to come back and the other one's under like their fifth company now, but I lost them a couple of years ago. And when those things happen, it feels like the end of the world. Sometimes you're like, Oh my God, what's going on? It's falling apart. Um, you know, I've got people under me that are red legged and they're like, why can I not get out from underneath this? And they kind of are looking at it more like a bad thing than it, it, than a good thing. And there's people on this zoom right now that would just pray for a red leg because at least they would have that 50%. And then you know, there's conflict. Not everybody gets along sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you hear this, Starla, in your inbox. My upline's not helping me or I don't have any support or my downline's not working. I mean, we face all of those things. What are some of the things that stick out to you that you've kind of learned from or had to push through um, over the last seven and a half years? Well, oh, I, I could say so many things. Uh, first of all, you have to surround yourself with positive people. You have to start your day with positivity. Um, you've heard me say more than once already. I start my day with prayer. I pray over my business. My shirt right now says pray over it, pray, pray on it, pray over it, pray through it. Um, I mean, it's so important to keep your mind in the right space. Um, yesterday, I'll use yesterday as an example. Um, I was in a three-way chat with a troubleshoot shooting chat with one of my rock star promoters and one of her new customers who was on day four of her Thrive experience. And this lady, there's, I mean, I'm praying for her now <laughs> because she has the most negative attitude. It doesn't matter what anybody says. She's just extremely mad at the world. And it didn't matter what I was going to say yesterday. She was, I mean, it was all my fault. And she felt like I was pointing blame. She said I was insulting her. And what I was doing was telling her how to um, make the shake taste better, what to mix it with, maybe try 
the different flavors and maybe take her capsules and drink more water with it instead of just a little bit because she said she felt a little nauseous and drink her shake a little sooner. Like, I mean, I was literally troubleshooting, trying to make everything better for this lady on day four. And she said the patches were irritating her. So I told her places on her body to put it and how she could soothe it. And she, everything I said, she said I was insulting her and blaming her. And I was finally, I was just like telling my promoter on the side, like, you know what? We can't help everyone. They have to want to work with us and they have to want to be helped. And this lady wasn't. And you know what it did to me? Before the conversation was over and y'all, I'm a Lavelle millionaire and I've done this for seven and a half years. I was crying. I was in tears. I was so hurt by the responses this lady was giving me. I didn't want her to think I was insulting her. And I really wanted my promoter to feel like I was supporting and helping her and not, not helping her, you know, it was hurtful. And there again, I would worry about what people think about me. I still struggle with that. But those are the things that had I not starting, started my day with positivity and prayer and surround myself with these inspiring, motivating, uh, upbeat, empowering people within my team and my organization and my life, even my Facebook feed. You know, I mean, if there's someone that's constantly negative and dragging and obviously I'm reaching out to them and wanting them to thrive with me, but I just have to scroll past and ignore it. I cannot let negativity bring me down. Um, and a lot of that is because being a leader, you do come across so much, not just in your own bubble, but team wide because they come to you. So I used to always tell my team and I still do, I guess, you want to vent up and you want to shine down. You never want to vent to your downline or to your team or to your promoters. If you have a complaint or you're struggling or um, you know, you're just having a bad day or you're in a negative mood. You don't want any of your team or downline to see or hear that. They need you to be their positive light. And then your upline can be the ones that kind of work through things with you. You know, on the, on the flip side, your upline's going to get tired of hearing from you if all you ever do is message them with a complaint. So you also want to reach out to your upline and, and just say, thank you. You want to reach out to your upline and say, I appreciate you, or I hope you're having a great day or just something because you don't want them to dread every time they see a message from you because you're venting up and not down. So there's kind of a balance there, but um, I think that is so important. And then as far as the team goes, as far as like, you know, your, your business is going to ebb and flow. There's ups and downs all the time. Um, I can't say that I've really lost a leg, but there's been a lot of people come and go. Um, if you are, you know, a higher rank, 40K, 80K, 200K, you probably have realized by now, the people that got me to 4K and 12K are not the people that got me to 40, 80 and 200. So if you have people that kind of jumped on, maybe hit VIP, maybe even hit 4K and then now they're stagnant, um, work with them, stay in touch with them and with their team, but don't try to drag people along because they're probably not the person that's going to get you to 200K. And that's okay because you've got so many other people out there that are going to reach and you're going to find that person that is going to be the one that's going to rock it all the way to 200K with you and beyond. Because like Lisa says, when we get to 200K, we don't stop. Um, and also those 200Ks. I mean, there's a lot of people that get to 200K. Well, actually, there's a lot of people that get to 12K and then they kind of slow down and stop because they wanted that auto bonus so bad or whatever. And then that's where they kind of sit back and rest a little. And it's okay to stop for a hot minute and take a breath, but we never stop rolling because I always think of it like a freight train. When you get that freight train going and that momentum going, it's hard to stop unless you slam on the brakes but everyone is always watching you. So with, you know, 200 Ks or 80 K leaders that have kind of, you know, they're all in, they're all in, they're all in. And then they sit back and they kind of quit working their teams and the volume kind of starts getting a little bit lower every single month. That's okay because I'm not going anywhere. My team knows I'm not going anywhere. I'm working at the same force and the same pace all the time. And as long as you always have that attitude that there's always someone out there that needs you, there's always a leader that wants you to work with them. There's always somewhere to find someone to thrive with you. 
um, you'll never stop and you'll never slow down. You just cannot let other people and their decisions or what they do or don't do determine your success here or anywhere for that matter, anywhere. Um, and I have been, I talked about this in San Antonio when I was with Lisa. Um, I have been shocked and amazed how the pandemic has exploded our business last year. And then now, since January 1st, how many promoters, old promoters, like five, six, four years back, that we have gotten re-engaged that are exploding their businesses now, for whatever reason, now is the time for a lot of people. So yes, there's some people that may have dropped off last year, but we've got all this new re-engagement from people that dropped off years ago that now they're ready. And they're exploding through rank advancements like nobody's business. I'll tell you guys, and then Lisa, I'll see what other question you have for me. Um, my husband, Josh, is a promoter on my team. He started after I hit 12K, and then we got him to 12K, 40K, 80K, and he's set at 80K for like five years. Um, you know, I just haven't made that a priority because I work with my other teams. I want to build other people outside of our family and really grow, but then rank advancement bonuses, why not? Like, why not go get him 200K? And so that's what we've been really, and he's honestly, I've got a shout out to him, Josh Scribner. He has gotten so many of his older promoters re-engaged and working and shout out to Ashley McQueen, who's crushing it and really helping us all, um, you know, just light a fire. That's what happens when you get someone to jump in and go, it lights your fire. It just reignites you to go even bigger and bolder. So um, we're making that hard push to 200K and man, if you're not utilizing your upline and their ideas and their um, expertise, I mean, Mario was on the phone with me right before we got on this Zoom, talking about ideas and promotions and things we could do, and let's try this, and let's do that, and reach out to this one, and hey, have you done this? And I mean, she talks to so many different teams and has so many different ideas that have come from so many different people, whereas I'm over here in my little bubble, and I've only heard, I mean, we have 11 200Ks on our team, so we've had some great ideas, but you know, Maria's is so much exponentially bigger. Same with Lisa. I mean, she could talk with Chastity and talk to Maria and she, I'm like, just, there's so many leaders. And if you're not plugging into your leaders on a consistent basis, no matter what your rank or what your level, then you're shooting yourself in the foot because there's all, always so much motivation, inspiration and ideas that's gonna help you grow. You know, when you were sharing that story with the customer that you were in the message with, oh my gosh, how many times, <laughs> all of us on here, I know you can relate to it. Have you been in a conversation, even with a promoter, and they are so negative and nothing you can say or do changes their outlook. And it's like, you know, the reason they are where they are, they've already made their mind up. You know what I mean? And they are it, you could say all of the right things and be perfect and give the best suggestions. And at the end of the day, if that person is not in the right frame of mind, nothing you can say or do. And it's always someone else's fault. And I think that self-development is so huge in this industry because I remember before I was in this industry 11 years ago, I remember being that person that everything was everyone else's fault, you know, and now I've learned and you learn through this industry that it's your, you know, something ain't going right in life. You got to look in the mirror. And a lot of times it's what we're personally doing. It's not your upline's fault. It's not your downline's fault. It's not, you know, the, the CEO's fault or whatever. It's kind of your fault. You know, you've got to kind of take ownership of things going on in your business. But that was like, just when you were sharing that story, I was feeling for you because I've so been there several times and you just feel like crap because you, you just don't know how to make somebody see what an amazing opportunity this would be if they would just change their mindset. But, um, you know, and you mentioned, you know, there's people on your team, 80 Ks, 200 Ks. I, I've always said this. I don't care if you're a 2 K. <laughs> I don't care if you're a zero K. I'm going to go and pay attention and work with those people that show up, those people 
that are excited, those people that feed life into me, because a rank means nothing to me. You know what? There's 200 K's under me that I don't even know where they are. They, I mean, literally collecting a paycheck, but then I've got four K's that are on every zoom. They plug into everything. They have the best ideas that I steal. <laughs> I'm like, I'm stealing them all. And it's just, so don't look at people on your team and just assume that because somebody's a rank that they, they've got the answers. Like y'all, you've got a team full of people that just have so much knowledge, pull into all of them and work with the people that show up because those are the ones that will end up going up for sure. You know, you've been, again, seven and a half years. I'm pretty sure like me, I've been doing it 11 and a half years. I'm pretty much like the people that were going to join me in my like friends and family arena, they did. You know, I, once in a while I get shocked. I'm like, holy crap, this person, 12 years, they're finally joining me. But for the most part, my network is out. Like I have to figure out ways to continue to meet new people and grow my network. What are some tips that you have? Like, how do you grow your network? And what tips do you have for people on here that are trying to grow theirs? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I'm really, really working on myself and learning and growing social media right now. So Instagram, I'm not a fan. <laughs> and I will say it's not that I'm not a fan. I'm not good at it. Um, so I am, that's what I'm working on right now because I need to be, I need to go, you know, things change, um, trends change. And right now, I mean, Instagram's the place to be and that's where you can meet strangers who then will become friends. Um, whereas Facebook is more friends and family in your network and people, you know, um, I'm really great on that. I mean, I've built my whole business on Facebook and on, you know, person to person networking. Um, so I'm really trying to learn and grow Instagram. If you go look at my Instagram, don't judge me because I'm just learning, <laughs> but I'm investing in that. Like I'm investing time and I'm, you know, really trying to learn how to use hashtags and how to take better pictures and, you know, do captions that are captivating and, you know, make people engage with me and things like that. So that's something very, very new because I really want to expand. Like Lisa said, we you know, we're kind of past our friends and family. However, I will say really quick, don't let me lose my train of thought. Um, don't give up on your friends or family that haven't joined you yet. Um, me, for me, it's been friends more so than family. And it might take a while. I can't tell you how many people I've sampled that said it didn't work for them, that two years later, they reach out to me and say, oh my gosh, you look incredible. Okay, just tell me what to order. I've got to have what you have. Or, you know, four years later, one of my high school friends, it was four years later, another one from college, it was two and a half. By the way, there are 40K and an 80K on my team now. Um, and they watched for all that time. And I had messaged them, like I said, some had sampled, some haven't. So never give up on those people. You keep being up, being consistent and showing up on social media. And, you know, people are watching, even if they're not interested or they've told you no, usually that no is not right now, because they will come around. Honestly, I don't really have people flat tell me no. They'll either ignore me completely, which drives me crazy, or they'll just say, mm, not sure I'm ready yet, you know, and that's what it is. They're just not ready yet. So stay consistent on all platforms, but don't be afraid to learn something new to grow. But what I've done for my business, what really, really works for me, which was hard last year, but I still did it some. Get your face out there, you guys. Meet new people, whether it's about, whether it's Facebook groups. I know people do Facebook groups a lot. I don't a whole terribly lot because it's just hard and it's time consuming and you have to build that network and you got to find the right group for you that's not too big. And then you got to start building that, you know, networking with people there. I do better with face to face. So like Leanne McCoy, you guys may have heard that name. She was second place Ultimate Thriver winner last year. She was one of the winners of the Tesla because she was on the leaderboard for all that time. Um, she's going for 40K. She's personally enrolled to me. And I live in Granbury, Texas. And I met her at a little wine bar a couple of years ago here in Granbury. It was karaoke night. And somebody that I didn't even know that I just was talking to sitting there because I'm going to talk to people around me. I'm going to, I mean, we're friendly, we're positive, we're energetic. We, 
we just have that energy that draws people in. You, you, you need to do that. You want to do that. You don't like even at the grocery store or dropping your kids off, or if you're watching soccer practice or a baseball game, you don't want to have your you know nose down in your phone the whole time. You want to have your phone down and you want to be smiling and you want to be talking and you want to be meeting people and you want to be chatty. And then, you know, you'll be surprised when you're doing things like that, how you can friend people on Facebook because maybe you took a picture, a selfie with them, being the moms, watching the game, or at karaoke that night. I'm pretty sure we probably took a picture together. And then I'm like, oh, here, be my friend on Facebook. I'll tag you. And boom, then she's on my Facebook. Then she's seeing my Thrive stuff. Then at some point, she saw me offer samples. I took her samples. She swore it didn't work for her. And then a few months later, she's like, okay, I'll go ahead and give it a month. And then I did a triple commission cashback promo. She flipped to promoter. Then she joined the Ultimate Thriver Challenge because I'm reaching out to everyone that has free account with me and she won. And then she started exploding her business. Like had I not gone to that karaoke night at the wine bar that night and been open to be friendly with people, I never would have met Leanne McCoy. Um, and that, that stories like that go on and on. Last, last June or July, Josh and I just last minute, yes, it was in the middle of a pandemic, but we were sick and tired of being at home. We just jumped up on like a Thursday and booked a trip to Cancun for the weekend. And we met a couple there because there was nobody else at the resort. They live in Virginia. They saw our patches. They hung out with us the whole three days and loved our energy. And before we got home, they had already ordered a $400 promoter pack. Um, she's, she's actually a rank advancement bonus earner. She earned 4K. So get out there. Like I honestly, you guys, bring more strangers into my business than I do any more people that I know. Now it's it's people that I, I meet. And here's the deal, create your own momentum. Create your own momentum. Shout people out. So like, let's say um, one of your customers gets a referral. Shout them out, congratulations, you've got a new Thriver. We're changing labs one Thriver at a time. And, you know, even though you're not the one that got that person, you can shout them out and you're building momentum. If you have a new promoter that signed someone on, they did a little shout out, but congratulate them for bringing a new person to the team. Every shout out that you can do, um, anytime someone does, you know, gets five free accounts, shout them out like they're enrolling people into their business. Um, do anything that you can do. Um, if you're not, you know, one on one doing one-on-one -on -one reach outs and having gaining traction as far as orders go or you're reaching out and you need free accounts and you're you just don't know who, out, who to reach out to anymore do a vendor event like pop a little table up that's where i found laura seaprish laura seaprish is the one that took me to 200k and now she is actually um, my only personally enrolled lavelle millionaire she'll be uh, on stage at thrapalooza getting her millionaire awards so will my daughter spring who is my upline who by the way is red legged by me this whole seven years she has been extremely red legged by me and she just hit Lavelle millionaire so create your own momentum networking is really just you staying in contact with people and always meeting new people and if that's going to be on Facebook I'm constantly searching friends you may know so, you know, if it's popping up a friend you may know, if there's, if our mutual friends are already a bunch of thrivers, I don't send them a friend request. But if it's like friends from my hometown or friends from high school or other people here in Granbury, because I've only been here for three years and that's not all thrivers, then heck yeah, I send them a friend request. Who knows? They're going to start watching my stuff too. I don't immediately send them a spammy message. I just sit and wait, just sit and wait. And the time will be right at some point. You know, people, know, that, people are not, that are not. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Why? Okay, no, I'm not. Um, you know, people that are not taking advantage of the people they are seeing when they're out and about. You guys, your next rock star could be the lady behind you at the grocery store, and you're never gonna know if you're not making connections and opening your mouth. And it doesn't have to be about thrive. I'm pretty sure that night that Starla, you met your promoter in the karaoke bar, you didn't go, hey, want to try Thrive? Thrive, 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 Thrive. No. You were just making a connection. Like, that's what people, I think everybody overthinks it. They're like, okay, how do I bring this up? You don't. You're just making genuine conversations and friends with people and then getting them added to social media. And that's where they can start seeing the story unfold. You know, that's where you can drip Thrive on them. But 
so huge, like you guys. And that's kind of why I wanted to ask you that question because when we were, you know, in uh, Texas with at the mastermind with Maria, I was noticing that so many of your promoters that you talked about were people that you made connections with out and about. Like they, and, and expos and events there. And I know COVID and, you know, it's, things are starting to get a little bit more normal, but you are so right. Some of my best promoters have been people that I met at vendor events. You know, there's so many ways to grow this business. Don't just keep your, don't be so close minded to think that the only way to do it is through social media, because that is just not the case. And I'll tell you what, my promoters that end up signing the fastest are the people I met in person because they feel like they know you even if it was a five minute conversation, they already feel a connection versus when you meet somebody, a, a stranger on social media, it takes a long time to, for a lot of people to build up that connection it, versus when you meet somebody out and about you guys. So wear your patch loud and proud, like let people see that sucker. So they say, what is that? Or so they stare at it. I, I'll have people look in my direction and I'll be like, were you staring at this? And they'll go, no, but what is it? <laughs> I mean, I'll just, use it as a conversation starter. Get good at those little 30 second elevator commercials. You know, what What am I gonna say when this person next to me in line says, what's that patch? Be that person practice. You know, this is what I'm gonna say really quick and be excited about it. It's that, and let me get you on Facebook. I'll send you a free sample. Like it's that quick connection that can mean, it could be your next rock star. It could be your next 200K that's what I'm not like, I'll go to, I'll get home at night and think about that person that I thought about making a connection with and be so mad at myself. I'm like, Oh my God, what if that was my next 200 K it could have been. And I, and I was too chicken. You guys I get to a point where you can't live with yourself. Like now I'm like, I have to open my mouth or I will be wondering forever. Was that my next person? Because it only takes, I mean, ask Starla, it only takes a couple good people to take you to 200K, a couple people just like you. You know, I think one of the things that I find with my team, Starla, and you probably see it with yours, is a lot of people fall into that busy work trap where they think they're working. And then they come to me in a year and they're like, Lisa, I'm on all the Zooms. I know every ingredient of all the products. I, you know, plug in, I post 50 times a day on social media about Thrive. I live and breathe and dream this company. I wore eight patches today. Why the heck am I not growing? And the reason they're not growing is because none of the things they were doing were income producing. I mean, they can lead to income producing, but you got to actually do things that produce income and not get caught up in all that busy work that can hold us back. What would you say to the people on this call today, whether they just started or they've been in, you know, seven years, what do people need to do every day without fail? You know, even if they only got a couple minutes, what are some things you feel like you've got to do these things in order to grow? Yeah. So uh, like I said earlier, you have to consistently be showing up on social media. And that doesn't mean posting 15 times a day. That means post something in your stories about your every day and something about Thrive. You don't want to just post your kids in your story because then, you know, unless people literally are looking at your patch and you put it where it shows, you want to post something about Thrive too, every single day in your stories. And then on social media, just be consistent on showing up with a positive, energetic, happy lifestyle. I don't care if it's motivational quotes. I don't care if it's you working out. I don't want to, I don't care if it's your kitchen clean or your closets all cleaned out or you know a thrive box picture of your delivery like just every day just post something and keep your face and your name in front of people and then we talk about five four three two one all the time if you we won't go into that but if you guys don't know what it is get with your upline find out what it is um but individual reach outs personally talking to people because Social media is your billboard, but you want people to call the number on the billboard. And if they're not calling you, you want to call them. That's just an easy way to look at it. So you want to be sending them messages. Anybody liking or commenting on any of your posts, 
they're paying attention to you. They care about what you're posting. So send them messages. Go comment and post on their things that they're posting and make sure they know you care about them too. And then when you do bring up Thrive in a personal message, I mean, you can say, hey, how you doing? Your kids are so cute all day long. But if you don't ever bring up Thrive, they might be super curious, but afraid to ask. You never know until you ask. So you have to make the ask eventually. Maybe it's um, a contest for a free account. You know, maybe like like Josh right now, if he hits 200K, I'm going to get a matching bonus on that, but only if I have 10 free customer accounts this month. And I think I'm only at six because I've been working on his account. So, you know, right now I'm doing the ask for some free accounts. If I don't ask, they're not going to give me their email. So I have to be intentional about that. If they're the customer promo this last weekend, I've had a couple of people that have been telling me, oh yeah, I need to talk to you about Thrive. And I've already had them in a three-way chat, um, but they haven't just gone to the website to place the order. So I sent them the customer promo. I used that promo as a great way to do a personal reach out follow-up. We got two customers in, it actually solidified Josh's VIP for our trip and my free airfare for the trip because we both needed a customer. And I just reached out and said, hey, I just got this email this morning. I immediately thought of you. I know you've been wanting to order. Let's go ahead and get it in today so you can get free shipping and a free box of shakes. I can even place the order for you. I don't usually place their orders for them, but these are people that have just been him hawing around for a while. And I was like, let's lock it in. Like I need to get it done. So that was a personal message. Guess what? They already have a free account. Those two that I'm talking about this last weekend. So they got the email from Lavelle too, showing the promo, but they weren't probably going to do anything with it. My personal reach out and offering to do it for them is what actually got their order in this weekend. So you have to be doing that extra effort of personally reaching out and actually talking about Thrive. And it doesn't mean right away, if you've never talked, you haven't talked to this person in 20 years, or you haven't ever talked to this person before, you just become Facebook friends, your first message doesn't need to be about Thrive. You need to build that relationship a little bit first, but then at some point you've got to flip it and say, hey, I don't know if you've noticed my post. Um, you see that I do thrive, I absolutely love it. I bet you would too. I'd love to send you some more information. And then you get that email, you get that free account, and then they're on your follow-up list from then on. And if you just kind of slide it in there like that, it's very non-invasive to them. They don't like put walls up and like, oh my God, oh my God, she's trying to sell me her stuff. Like you don't want to be like that. Um, so one more tip that I'll give, you guys, I don't care, like Lisa said, if you're a 0K or a 2K or a 200K, if you get someone interested in Thrive, they are asking you a question, they're asking, well, what does the patch do? Or will it help me lose weight? Or can I take it with this medicine? Or how much does it cost? Or anything, anything. You immediately want to put them in a three-way chat or get them on a through a call with an upline leader. If you are skipping that step, you are shooting yourself in the foot, you are doing yourself a disservice and you are doing your team a disservice. I still to this day will not let a single person order. I can get orders in all day long, y'all. I know all the answers to all the questions. I have so many stories, references to back it up. I've had physical success, financial success, my story's awesome. I could do this all by myself, but I never have and I never will. I do not let a single person order without letting them hear that third party validation story from someone else. If you take nothing away from this Zoom, but that, I want you to take that away today. I've got 200 Ks that I haven't heard from in a year, but they're still putting orders in. I know because they earn trips. But I haven't been on a through a call or through a chat with any of those people and they're not growing. They're sitting stagnant. Same thing with 4Ks. If you can do a lot by yourself, but you're only gonna go so far. You can go so far when you do it together as a team. It works. It's, uh, you know, it success leaves clues. All of our upline leaders have shown us that is the way to be successful here. And I'll tell you why real quick. It's duplication, it's duplicatable. Everybody that I bring on 
that starts thriving with me doesn't have my personality. They don't have my story. They haven't been around for seven years or a year or however long it takes to be confident sharing, but they can have success just like I have because all they're doing is putting someone else, you know, putting someone else on the phone to do all the talking. So you're showing all of your new thrivers that it's that all they have to know is how to put somebody on the phone or throw them in a three-way chat and someone else is going to do the work for them. And when you've shown them the way, because a lot of times people, you know, just ask a question, you throw them in a through a chat and they start as a customer within a month down the road, everybody's asking them what they're doing and they flip to promoter. If you've already put them in a through a chat or on a through a call, you immediately showed them the way to success here because you did, you put them through and did everything exactly right with them so that when they start growing, they already know exactly how simple it was to do. So what else, Lisa? You know what's, you know what's so crazy is people that you just friended on social media or that you met at the grocery store today and got on social media, whatever, they do not know whether you're a zero K or a 200 K. They don't know if you make five bucks a week or 5,000 bucks a week. They have no clue. They, and that's the thing is I think that we get in our heads as promoters. Oh, you know, I'm new at this and people aren't going to know you have, we're all talking to the same person. If you give me the same person that you met today at the grocery store, guess why I'm going to sign them quicker? Because I'm going to ask, because I'm going to go in and I'm going to not be scared and I'm going to do the thing because, I, because I've, I have that mindset. You guys have to get that mindset. But here's the thing is you're so right, Starla. They don't know who we are, what rank, it doesn't matter to them if I'm a millionaire or not. They have got to hear it from someone else. Success leaves clues. And the best tip ever is what Starla just said. Like if you guys are not using third-party credibility and getting people, I don't care what your rank is. If you want to continue to grow, y'all need to listen to Starla. She obviously knows what she's doing. Seven and a half years in, you've got to. I'm the same Starla. I'm like, I have 200 Ks, 80 Ks. I'm like, when they haven't gotten me in a message in years since the first week, year in. And a lot of those people aren't growing. I, everybody on here might want to take note. Hey, <laughs> am I missing that step? Maybe that would be the, the difference maker in where I'm going. But oh my gosh, Starla, we need a part two. <laughs> I still have like a whole bunch of questions. I'm going to have to have you on in a, in a couple of months and we're going to have to like have a part two because it's so much good information. You guys, I hope you guys took so many notes and I hope that you don't just, <laughs> I hope you don't just take the notes and then close the notebook and never go back to it. Like we tend to do busy work. I hope you actually take some of this amazing advice that Starla shared and apply it to your business actually do do the things right get off here today and go you know what I haven't been getting my people in three-way messages I need to start doing that or get them on a three-way call I need to start doing that like take something today and do it immediately Starla I just want to thank you so much for taking the last hour out of your day and your life and just pouring into a whole ton of people that you don't even make money off of so I appreciate you so much. That's just how amazing the leaders are in this company. And this company is that, you know, <laughs> I was with the company that if they weren't making money off you, they were stay sure not going to get on an hour long call and share their heart and their tips. So I just appreciate you more than you know. And if you ever need anything, I'm here. Don't hesitate. Um, and thank you so much because I know that there were definitely people on today that needed to hear exactly the stuff that you shared and it's going to be a game changer for them. So thank you so much. Well, I appreciate uh, you having me on. It's always an honor and I wish all of you the best of luck. Go and grow. Don't stay stagnant where you are. I think sometimes when you're at the same rank, you know, I thought I would never, ever, ever get past that 12K rank. And then all of a sudden 40 and 80K happened in the same month. You just keep working. You keep going. You'll keep growing. Don't allow yourself to just get lost and sit back and, and rest and just say, well, I guess I'll just stay happy here because I promise you it's worth it when you put in the work. So I'm praying for all of you guys. I hope to see many of you at Thrive Palooza. And thanks, Lisa, for having me.
Thanks so much, Darla. And thank you guys, all of you for tuning in every single Tuesday. Um, you know, I hope that this Zoom means as much as much to you guys as it does to me. And it's as helpful as it is um, to me as it is to all of you. I mean, it's so amazing. Every week I just get fired up. I get off here and I'm ready to go do the damn thing. You guys, we just got paid about five minutes ago. Don't forget, make your payday post. That's like, I would say Tuesdays, my payday post is my most interaction from people. And it doesn't have to be a lot, guys. It could be, oh my gosh, thank you. Jesus, you just put gas in my car for a week. Like it could be something as small as I was able to get school supplies for my kids. I mean, those are the things that somebody is watching you right now and they're wishing that they just had that little bit of extra income. So don't underestimate the power of a payday post. And you guys, congratulations. For some of you, it's gonna be one of your biggest checks ever. That's exciting. We've got uh, 10 days left, guys, 10 days left for these bonuses. I am crossing my fingers for each and every one of you, but I want to end the way I'm ending all the Zooms since these bonuses started, which is bonuses are awesome. Hope you get one. But if you don't, so what? Who cares? Keep going because Lavelle is going to have more bonuses. I've been doing this for four and a half years, and I can tell you that they do not disappoint. They're going to be bonuses again of some kind. And if this isn't your time, the next time will be your time or the next time, but it will never be your time. If you don't con get con consistent and show up every single day and do the do to get the get. So everybody, good luck. But with, without those bonuses, you rock as long as you stay in the game. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place, same link different 200k leader so excited we've got a great lineup for the rest of the next couple months so i'm super excited make sure you tune in and share the link with your new people thank you again starla thanks everybody see you guys next week